much every aspect of my life I've received disappointment. Sure. It would be a beautiful job that would come just when I want to enjoy it, something comes up. Hello once again, you are more than welcome to our podcast, The Tea World. My name is Queen Rami, and if you are by any chance watching me for the very first time, kindly do consider subscribing and follow me on all my social media platforms. And once again, it's a new episode, and I'm with the gorgeous and the beautiful Lebuha <laughs> Motipe. You are welcome, Mami. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, Queen yes. Rami. Feel at home. I am. <laughs> <laughs> she already feels at home. I mean, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for making time to come and be with us. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So, to our viewers at home, yes. who is Lebuha Motipe? Lebuhang Mutsipe is a born again child of God. Um, Amen. Yeah, I think that's the most important part for me. Yes. So I'm a born again child of God. I love, I love Christ. He died for me, which I'm eternally grateful to this day. Amen. I'm the first born child of Mr. and Mrs. Mutsipe. Mm. I'm a mother of two beautiful children. Mm. Um, I. I have a brand, ministry brand, that is called Kingdom Leading Lady. Amen. Which is actually set out to inspire and empower women to leave their God-ordained purposes. Amen. So it's equipping women, it's inspiring women, you know, through events, through our conferences and such, where we gather together and we equip and empower each other as women. And sure. Lebram Mutsipe is also an author. Oh, yes. We love it for you. Yes. She has brought yes, a copy yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. I have got my copy here. <laughs> Amen. I'm um, titled Pain Before Purpose. Yeah. Yeah, so this book um, is one of the best, best accomplishment in my life. It it's, should be. I'm telling you. Oh, yes. So oh, yes. This, this is one opportunity that I'm grateful to God for. Mm. Yeah, I, I wrote the book during COVID, during the COVID period. You know, yeah. I had some intimate, intimate time with, with it God. It was a time I'm for that. You, it was a time mm. for that, and I'm grateful for that time. Amen. You know, so, yeah, I wrote it during that time, and, you know, the Holy Spirit was just downloading. I was downloading. He was just, mm. you know, and I was downloading. And this is how the book came about, where I was reflecting on my life. Yeah. Remember, the title says, Pain before purpose. Yes. So I was looking at my life because remember it was COVID. Now we've got time to think, time to reflect. You know? You know, so I was reflecting so much and I was like looking at my life, my journey, mm. and the pain, the things that I went through that sometimes I'd want to blame God about. But then God made me realize, let me show you why I had to take mm. you through that. Then I understood through even Christ's life yeah. how pain pushes you to purpose. It does. Yeah. So that's how the book came about. And it's available for going for 200 rands. Oh, that's reasonable. Yes, yes. So this, anyone who wants to get the book, they can go to my Facebook handle. It's Lebohang Mutsepe. And yeah. All the details. I love a queen who's purpose driven. Yes, Bona, she's yes, already yes, selling yes. herself. Yeah, I love it for yes. you. <laughs> yes. Okay, I love that. Thank you so much for that intro. Yes. So before we go fully into um, the pain yes. that came before your yes. purpose, is purpose important in a child of God's life? What is purpose to you? Um, purpose, <laughs> that is that is the core reason we are here. Mm. You know, without purpose, I think uh, our existence is. I don't know if useless should be the name that I should I should I, sh I should use. Makes sense. You know. Mm. So I think um, purpose. That's the core reason why we are here. Let's go back to Christ. Mm. Christ came here for a purpose. Amen. It was, a, it was not about being. It was not about Christ being a carpenter and all that. Mm. It was not about Mary, Joseph, but he came for a purpose. He came here to fulfill a purpose, mm. which we are still benefiting from even to, to this, this day. day. Amen. So, you know, it's very important to have a purpose. Purpose is the reason for your existence. Amen. So that's how I would I would describe purpose. It is the reason for your existence. So that's sure. one per, one thing that, one per, one, uh, that all of us have to fulfill. Amen. So when you have fulfilled purpose, I see the cars, I see everything else that we want to achieve. I mm. see our jobs. But once you have fulfilled purpose, then you know that your existence, you know, was is useful, complete. is complete. Mm. Because that's the core reason I believe we are here, to fulfill sure. a purpose that God has given each and every 
one of us. Amen yeah. to that. Yeah. And before we go deeper, you yeah. know, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your background because yeah. When somebody hears the yeah. word Mutsipe, <laughs> you already know what you know. <laughs> so <laughs> take us through oh that. Gosh. How did you grow up? And yeah, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> the cinema, I love the, let me highlight this fact. I love the fact that even this day it opens doors for me. Okay, you take know, it. it opens doors for me. <laughs> you get to a place and they'd be looking down on you, and like the moment or and they, they're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. All right. carpets. You know, but then my family background. Um, <laughs> Um, okay, Mutsipe, we don't, even from our clan and everything, we don't have this thing that is called Sifani Satwana. Yeah. You know, in Zulu they would say Sibongo Fanana. We mm. don't have that. Okay. We are taught that we are one family. Mm. You know, we also have gatherings where they show us how, from the family tree, how we all connect. So it's mm. one big family. Then with my side of the family, where I come from, it, it is a very, I come from humble beginnings, man. It is, you know, it is not the Mutipe, yeah. <laughs> the Petrus Mutipe level, mm. but it is, I come from a very beautiful, blessed family, you Amen. know. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the background. Man, that's clan. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So now let's get through um, Lebohang during COVID-19. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that it gave you a chance to reflect yeah. and not only to blame. You know, as people, yeah. we are so quick to point yeah. fingers at other people yeah. and we forget that the three fingers are pointing yes. right back. Yes. So take us through that. Yes. You introspecting, yes. realizing and taking accountability. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, when you say that, I've always been a person that believes, Hori, victim mentality hinders growth. It does. You know, mm. on all aspects, it hinders growth. I'll mm. just make an example before we get into that. Um, let's take relationships, for instance. Remember, yeah. we, we, you are in a relationship, you mm. are in a marriage, mm. whatever ship you are in. Mm. And um, it fails probably because um, Rami did something even a friendship, I feel Rami wronged me. Mm. Rami has, has been doing this. I can even count the times that Rami has wronged me and, and disappointed me. me. Mm. And it's always blame, blame, blame. And I say, maybe someone would come and say, but how did you contribute? And be, I'd, I'd be like, no, there's this one time, you know, and I want to brush it off. And I believe that even that one time, it's big even, enough. It's big enough. Mm. If, if, if Rami has disappointed me 90% of the time, the 10% is enough for me to introspect. That's How did right. I contribute? Mm -hmm. How can I change? What is it that I can do to make the situation better? That's right. Where did I open the door mm. for this situation? So during the COVID uh, period, the reflection, um, you know, uh, going through that time where you are conversing with God and you're looking back and you even asking the whys, mm. and then God says, let me show you. Ooh. Let uncomfortable times uncomfortable times mm. you know because now that's where growth comes in yeah where you're not right. only pointing out but you also like looking deep within you to say oh you know oh else if we don't get to that point mm. where we look within us how we contribute we are going to repeat experiences that's right we are going to see a visual cycle repeating itself in our lives because we never get to a point where we introspect and fix us mm. and close all the loopholes that we open that make us to get ourselves in such situations so i've had that time i've had that time where god was like okay here yeah, Maybe fix you would this. fix this, mm. fix this. Maybe character. Maybe you are trusting mm. too much. Maybe you are, maybe you don't even. Sometimes you remember this situation. Did you come back to me and ask me, and Lord? Inquire of the did Lord. Did you inquire of mm. the Lord? You know, and you're like, no, I just jumped right into it. So I've had situations where God was actually showing me that, okay, here, my my daughter, you mm. opened the door, and you know, hence now I you would start seeing growth on certain factors because you were able to introspect fix, close where you need to close, then you can move forward. Amen. Yeah. So you are talking about opening doors yes. now. So there are doors that we open in our lives. Yes. And you know, we don't always have the manual right. Yes. So take us through Lebohang in relationships, you know, yeah. navigating <laughs> through that, being yes. a child of God and yes. meeting this guy. Yes. Let's talk about that. Okay. Um. In, in, in a nutshell, let's say with my relationships, then I'll come to one specific experience. Correct. Mm. Um, introspecting, right? Uh, seeing where I open doors. As a child of God, as we said, we inquire of the, of Lord, the Lord. Like King David. Yes. Mm. So knowing that, 
especially with relationships, that's one, one, one most important factor that we have to inquire. Mm. Because I feel the devil uses that to cripple us a lot. That's right. You know, so um, I would always allow my own feelings to get the better of me mm. and not inquire of the Lord. But you know what they say, you can never advise a person who is in love. Thank you. <laughs> Even Thank if you. I say I dreamed about him. Bona, Bona. Bona your uh -uh. dream is from the pit of hell. <laughs> you don't, yeah, you don't, you, 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 you know, you're an of enemy progress. of progress, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's, it's, I think I was just taken, um, mm. I was taken, but let me tell you, though we don't inquire of the Lord as he advises, us too, mm. you know, uh, God is so faithful to still show you correct signs. God is still so because we are His children. He's a mm. father, you know. He's He'll always come in to say, "Hey, you know, watch so, out, watch out." And we turn a blind eye to all that. That's so true. So I've turned a blind eye. Mm. This is how I open. I open the door. Yeah, where my father would like literally come with a flag himself a clear one a clear one <laughs> and you'd be like <laughs> you know like this is a red flag and i'm like no man no you you pray and you would go to god probably at some point you're like no this is it you pray. you're not even inquiring now mm. we are convincing ourselves to say this is it thank you father <laughs> you mm. know so but then that's how i opened doors where i didn't inquire and when god was faithful to still show me I would still want to turn the red green. Mm. I would still want the red to be green, you know, yeah. and believe that, no, I'll fix this. Because when God starts showing you the red, and then there would be occasions where you actually see, oh, oh okay, yeah, no, it is a red. But mm. then you're like, no, 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 I can fix this. I can change I him. I can change him. Mm. You know, it will work. Let me let me be this woman for him to, you know. Mm. But then I, I've opened the door, you know. I, I've opened the door and I've banned. Yeah. I've banned <laughs> for not listening to my father. I like what you are pointing out, the fact that we always want to turn the red yeah, into, into green. green. Do you think it's something that comes with being a child of God? We just love seeing the good in people, even when we know that we cannot change people. That's mm -hmm. God's work. Mm -hmm. So is it a sense of, I don't think desperation is the right word, mm -hmm. but we just believe there is good in everyone mm -hmm. and we end up being burned in relationships. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's, that, can, that could be it in my case, mm. knowing the hearts that I have for people in general. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> fix our na, 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 I'm telling you, even with, hence I'm saying relationships, the sh any ship, friendship, yeah. people would warn me that girl, no, they will not, is she your friend? I'm like, no, man, there's something good about her. Mm. I am that, I can attest, I can tell you now, the people that personally know me that would be, that are watching this, they would tell you that this one, Ish. we tell it, we tell it. We fix oh, it even when it's not broken. This one wants to fix. <laughs> so I always see, I think, Ish. I think now that you're saying, because we are children of God, when you look, when I, when we look at the mercy that we, we found, we received, mm. You know, when we look at our lives and we also, I think we always want to apply that to mm. say, he can also be fixed. Yeah, she can also ne? be fixed. We know Msadi Am Samari. We're like, Yo, no, this can be fixed. My you God. know, And there are things that can only be fixed by God. Amen to And there that. are things that we must just leave to God to mm. fix. And there are things that must, that must not be fixed at that point because it's not for you. Yeah. Leave it like that. You know, it's not mm. for you. So you want to fix it. At the, it will be fixed. Remember, we all matter to God. Even those people, they matter to God. Yeah. But now the fixing was not for you. The fixing will happen in their lives. Mm. But it doesn't happen when you are in their lives because they are not for you. <laughs> So the fixing I at some point, that. have you seen where you were with someone and you, you know, this, this quotes, yeah, a person will act right for the person that they love. Mm. I don't think it's, we are children of God. We should look at things differently. Mm. So you were just not the right person. It was not the right time. And it if was he not wants for you. to, you will. Then when the time <laughs> comes, God comes into their lives, fixes them for that person you know? because it's the right time for, for that God. person. Mm. Hence, we have to inquire, is it for me? It's not for you. Okay, move. Amen. Then you allow the right thing to come. So sure. I think we see the good in people. Personally, I, would, I see the, the good in people because God saw the best in me when I felt everyone I'm a else mess, around everyone you. else around me. Mm. So I feel everyone deserves that grace and that mercy, but it is not up to us to, to decide the time for the fixing, for, you know, 
So I think that's that's that we just want to see the the best in people. Mm. Yeah. But you know, I'm reminded of this word that says we plant the seed. Yes. But it is God who makes sure that it grows. Exactly. It's not our work. Exactly. Exactly. So coming now to the title of our <laughs> video, you yes. lost a lot sure. in love. Yeah. Take us through that journey of you being a married woman and yeah, you know. Yeah, let's say a married woman for two months. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, married woman because lo 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 when a person is fully paid, lo lo lo, we say that's married. Me, I'm married. Mm. So it was it was for two months, if I'm not mistaken. Sure. Yeah, that is one painful. That, that's the most painful thing that so I've ever. So how did you had. meet your boys who couldn't stay that long? Mm. My boys were disappointed. <laughs> hey, now this is where it gets interesting mm. because now boys is from church. Mighty men of valor. You know, we are in the church together. <laughs> I mean, we are, we were in the same church. In Bosia. We, I mean, the worship team. You know, uh, he's also part of you know um, the the people that serve in the church. Mm. So we are both serving. You know, our families know each other. Both our families are in the church. Oh, you know, it looked beautiful. We are receiving the same teachings. Couple goals. Couple goals. Mm. Oh, now you know you're like no, this one is Kopan. This is this is heavenly ordained because it's from church. church. Forgetting so, that church is a hospital. Exactly, it's Ooh. a hospital, and it's not everyone that <laughs> not is there. Not every patient that is there <laughs> that is, is recovering. Is recovering. <laughs> not every patient that is there is even taking medication. Tell me about it. Because some are just there for their own, for their own reasons, you mm. know, in their own mission. But then, well, in this case, um, I met a, a very um, beautiful person, a very yeah. beautiful person. It goes back to. Um, is he the right one? Is mm. is it is it it? Is it from God? Is it you know? So he was a beautiful person, um, and we were in church together. So what happened is we spoke. We started like the dating. The church that we come from is very strict, and I thank God for that. Yeah, because we don't find they come that. with you on yeah, a date. I'm telling you, they're like, <laughs> no, the when you go to it, there must be a third person. <laughs> it's that church. It's okay, that church, and I I'm like grateful. That. I'm grateful for it mm, because it is really. It, from it, a it, lot. No, I'm very grateful for it. It's just that, well, we're coming to that part. Mm. So now, the church that I was in, you know, the dating part. When they see that you're dating, they're they're on you. Yeah. Okay. Where is this going? And remember, guys, you are saving, which mm. which makes sense. You are saving. You cannot be seen doing this and doing that. So what is the plan? Are you guys planning on getting married? We're not putting pressure, but give us the plan here. Mm. And the man was like, No, no, I want I want to marry her. This was Ooh. in this was in January. It was the beginning mm. of the year, around that time. It was late January. Yeah, towards my birthday, February. And then it's like, no, I'm paying Lobo. Like, okay, when? March. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby, I'm man. I'm telling you. Mutore. You know, who <laughs> You know, same year. Like, no, I'm, I, want, I, want to, I want to Lobo. Like, I'm, I'm marrying mm. her. You know, it was on March. Lobo was paid. Cash. You know, no same deposit. day. No deposit. No deposit, ah, So you're like, no, man. No, this, this is, is the blessing. God. This is definitely from God. Oh, my God. You know, it, the blessing like, of the Lord. It's the blessing of the Lord. Make, your Make it rich. rich. Brings no, adds no <laughs> sorrow. It's flowing. You know, I'm like, yeah, no, more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, same day, cash, you know. And after the whole thing, then we had to uh, go to church where mm. we had to be blessed and we had to, what do we call it? We would call it the blessing of rings. No. Oh, we had that okay. in church. So yeah. after the Lobolo, we had the whole church thing where Bar Emisa, mm. and then he put a ring on it, you know, to seal the whole thing in church and it was beautiful. My pastor was so happy and proud mm. of us. But before you go deeper, yeah. how long did the talking stage go? Because now there's premarital counseling, yes. there's a whole lot of things. Yes. So take me through that before okay. you dwell okay. deeper. So now we, um, the talking stage, <laughs> <I like that. laughs> the talking stage and um, I think I would say, what is it? Yeah, the talking stage was, was it like two months? Wow. Two two months a month. So that's like November. November. Basically. Yes. And then Jen, Jen I want my wife. I want my wife. It was Michael. it was it was just a quick mm. a quick thing. But at that time I was not seeing a quick thing, I was just seeing the blessing. The blessing of you know, the it's Lord. It's coming, mm. restoration, it's happening. So sure. it, so that's it, it was just two months and then when he wanted to pay Lobola, 
we, the, our pastor introduced us to a, a marriage counselor. Oh. We had to now go through the premarital counseling. Mm. So we, so, so we you received, did go through we it. We did go through it. Let me okay. tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Not us. Well, now let we me got tell all you. <laughs> when I say God shows us, yeah. Now we're going. The, remember, the marriage counselor is someone else, not our pastor. Mm. Um, someone um, that the pastor referred. Mm. Now we're going through marriage, the the premarital counseling. Mm. When we remember the sessions where it's both of you and then the sessions where individual. individual. So the marriage counselor called me. It was not even a session. Mm. He called me. He said, I want to see you during the counseling. Mm. So remember the Lobola was in 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 in, in March, right? Mm -hmm. The white wedding was supposed to be the same year, uh in, in September. Oh, okay. So the date was out already. After the Lobola, the date was out. Mm. Now premarital counseling. When I'm there, it happened after Lobola. Let's 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 have that out. Yeah. Premarital counseling happened after Lobola. Which is an error. Um, I believe it's an error yeah. because the minute you go for counseling, yeah. we are checking things that we might not be compatible yes. in. Yes. But if you go when yes. you're already in Lobola, yes. you are married. You are married. So even if I don't like the fact that yes. he ends whatever, yes. I'm, I'm going ahead with I'm this. I'm married. Mm. Which was my situation. Mm. So it happened after because... Um, I don't know why we believe Khuri, the white wedding is the I, I don't know, but then anyways, it was that's that's an error that happened on my part, which I saw when things started happening. Mm. Now Lobola is paid, right? Premarital counseling is happening. The counselor calls me. I want to see you. It's agent. I go there. Mm. I get there. He says to me, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm like, what? Oh, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe the guy said something to him. It's like, ah, you guys are not compatible. You see? Right. It has to be done before, before Lobola yeah, is paid. Be before Lobola is paid. Mm. Even before a lot of I love you and yes, dates. Yes, Let them yes, cancel us. Yes. Are we compatible? Are we compatible? Mm. It's like, you guys are not compatible. You sure. guys are on two different levels. Another thing, um, there were... Well, things that I cannot say here no that problem. he was mm -hmm. he was he was he was seeing with the guy. He's like, I'm worried about this guy. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I, this it, it's not gonna work. It's not no, for there you. are certain things. It's not for you. There are certain things that I see with the guy um, that would it would not it would not, it would not even go far. Sure. You will go back home crying. Mm. What's your reaction when was it a call or you I went, went there? I went there because it was not far from where I was staying. Yeah. So I went to him because it was not even gonna be a call thing. He wanted to see me. Mm. So I went and it was like it's it's at, he even because he's a man of God. He said, even praying about it, my spirit is not at peace sure. with this. He said it. My spirit is not at peace with this. So what was happening with you? I want jealous. Hey, man of God. Now, did you pray well? This is mm. now the challenge. Mm. Okay, at that point, now I'm in love, actually. Exactly. Now I'm in love, and now I'm seeing this blessing. I'm thinking, hey, no, what is he saying? You know? Mm. No, 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 no. You know, my pastor would have picked it up. Uh, you know, why is he now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can you imagine. Know? I would also exactly. be like that. I'm like, no, man, mm. this guy, no, man, you know, I, not, not totally right. I'm sad. He must just not be, you know, a problem for me or else we're changing Kanze. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it was that. But like, it got to me. But then I was like, no, 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 you know? And now invitations we out mm. when he was when we we're going through the the process of 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 premarital counseling invitations were out for the white wedding for the white wedding wow the church had received around what's it school location it was around um, our neighborhood a white, Bona. <laughs> a white so flag is being put it's on being the put, gate Bona. so Ish. now some of the neighbors already have invitations mm. and because of personal things that i've went through linda Queen Rami, the things that I went through, I felt this is where the devil, you know, will just, you know, mm. I felt, oh, I got you. Yeah. You are not going to put me through shame anymore. You are not going to, uh, you know, time. disappoint me anymore. I felt, oh, ha, 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 devil. Sorry, this devil, is my not time. this year. Not this year. Eesh. Now restoration is taking place. So I, when he said that, I was like, no, 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 this is now another spirit of disappointment that, that wants to come into my life mm. after so many disappointments. I was like, no. Devil, you're not gonna do that to me, you know. The disappointments yeah. that stood out for yeah. me, without diverting a lot, yeah. take us through an inch of those disappointments. Was it the relationship based, marriage? Every aspect of my life, I've received disappointment. Sure. It would be a beautiful job that would come, 
just when I want to enjoy it, something comes up. My God. It would be a beautiful... And one thing about my relationships, Queen Ramina, in, in as disappointing as they were, I've met guys that never wanted to waste my time here. Mm. One thing about me, when a man comes into my life, marriage. I mean, look at you. Like, I want to settle. I, I want to settle. Mm. I want to marry you. So it's not men that wanted to waste my like, time. Mm. But immediately a man says, I want to marry you. All hell breaks loose. Ish. And then it's back to square one. I would have a car only to lose it. I would have an apartment only to lose it. There was a point mm. where I even lo lost the furniture. You know, it was that so every aspect of my life sure. you'd have something you'd lose it you know so being a child of god yes. and you're going through all that yes. how's your work with god are you angry um shoo. you know queen rami there was a point where i was even suicidal oh god. and most people don't even know this mm. I, I there was a point where when certain things were happening i would I would still say, no, you know what, kidutsi, kidutsi come running, it's okay. God will see me through. Yeah. I'm a very strong character. Mm. Very, I'm a very strong character. So now when I would go through things, I would always want to, you know, hold it together mm. and still trust God and say, Lord, God, you will see me through. But there was sure. one point, there was one point mm. where I was like, you know what, Lord, I don't know now. Yeah, I feel like this, this is, is this much. is too much now. Mm. You know, it's it's all, when am I gonna have a season where I'm just having a ice break. cream? You know, I you always know? call it an ice cream period mm. where I don't have to be worrying about anything. Ish. To a point where I'm now always anxious when something happens. Instead of rejoicing, I'm anticipating something oh, bad to happen. Man. You know, so it got to a point where I got into this box of depression. You know, depression hit me, mm. and I was really blaming God to a point where even I would not even want to go to church. Ish. I would not even want to pray. You know, I would not want to pray. I would be like, what's the point? Mm. There was a point where I, would, I said to him, you even know my heart. You mm. know our heart. You know what we're going to say before we even say it. Yeah. I said, you know, but you still decide to allow these things to happen to me. I said, okay, fine. Lord, I understand that life without challenges is no life at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I have these conversations with God. I mm. understand, I fully understand it. But just give me a break. Ish. Just give me a break. You know, so my walk with God was challenged where I was, where I had depression, mm. where I felt I'm, I'm done. I was done with even hosting the conferences. I was done with, I was done, you Ish. know. I was like, I'm not going to do it anyway because now you. I feel like I'm being mocked. Mm. We are running around preaching Christ. We are running around saying this and then the world is laughing at us. Yeah. People around you that time, they're married, they're in stable relationships. They're, you know, I'm like... And you're not even comparing. You just you need just, a break. Ex you know, I'm like, I'm thinking, but now... Why would I, why do I have to go through this? You know, I even, I would even tell him that, you know, I'm one child that is not ungrateful, Lord. You know me. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like, nah, nah, God, you would give me sweets. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you, daddy. You know, so I'm all, I've always been content, but it got to a place where I questioned even people around me. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm, hence I'm saying I've always been a content person, but it got to a point where you're now pointing out, oh, but these people buy pile, but they're, but no, they're having it easy. You know, I am busy lifting the banner of Christ and I'm getting hammered. Look at me. When am I go going to get a break? I would, I would even, you know, it was rejection, even, you know, church, church rejection. Ooh. It was, it was just a lot. And mm. I felt, God, you just need to give me a break. So my walk with God was challenged at some point mm. where depression hit and I was like, I'm done. I'm not going to pray. Enough. Enough, get sharp. You know, I have a family, at that time I was still staying with my parents. And I have a family where it's culture to pray every night before you sleep. We all have a chain prayer. They'd be like, Lebuchang. And I'm like, Rapelang. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mug me absent. I'm, I'm done. Like, yeah. Rapelang, you know? Because mm. I felt, what's the point? What's the point? So, yeah. So that's 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 how my relationship with my father was challenged during that time. Sure. Which yeah. is very understandable. Yeah. Hey? And yeah. it's normal for a child of God to go through seasons yeah. that are not favorable yeah. Yeah. and to understand that yeah. God is a father. He will shepherd yes. you. Yes. But do not shy away from yes. that season. Yes. 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 So yes. now let's go back to Boaz. And yes. You are now planning for a marriage regardless of the sun balance. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now, so now we're planning. Uh, remember, now I've got, uh, 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 I've got this uh, 
what is it? Is it another red flag? For, yes, from the councillor to say this is what is happening. Yes. But I still went ahead. Mm. Like, no, I'm doing this. We are doing this. Uh, and then around, we still went ahead with plans. Venue paid. Venue mm. paid. My bridesmaids, dresses, everything ready. done, ready. Oh, yes. Groomsmen, ready. My dress, which I still don't know, haven't even went to. I, like, it's still where... I bought it, like, mm. you know, it's still at the shop. I never went back for it. My dress fully paid. Um, now we are now just those little things that we just need to patch mm. up. It is August, early August, early August. My, now our pastor calls us. We started having, before that actually, now around uh, August, yeah, around August, early August, I see Tempanyana, you know. You said, cannot hide who you, can, you are. You can't. You can't hide who you mm -mm. are. You For know? long. I see Tempanyana, you know, there are certain things that now I'm like, huh? Who is this person? <laughs> ning, 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 ning. There's a laptop backpack that he used to always have in the car. So he, mm -hmm. he always okay. said, like, the chapis, you know, with him. And I felt, no, maybe. But I was like, I'm a Thomas, no, the chapis. Oh, mm. you know. So one time I wanted to take one from the laptop bag, you know. So I went into his laptop bag, really go. Cool. I went with him to his workplace. So I was in the car. I was just doing something and we had to go. Mm. Prepared BPs with wedding preparations. So he just went to the office. When he went in, I opened the laptop bag to try and get chapis. And then I saw a box of cigarettes. Ooh. <laughs> this is the man, you know the, someone may, may say oh but um, th this is someone i'm marrying all the little details you need to know you need to if, know if, if, if we too, but, with okay, what this you, is what, addicted you know to. yeah to say, mm. okay so i'm just trying to show you now little by little the things that we're just coming up to say mm. so i found that i'm like okay i'm like oh Foot, I'm thinking maybe get a colleague or whatever, get a you know, I trust him. I mean, I know mm, him. Fellas, you must oh, paint everything yeah, exactly white. Exactly, white. Well, yeah. when, okay, fine, get a He comes back, I ask him about it, and he starts saying, let me tell you about me. This is August, September, Kilinyalo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me, and, and Kilobo to give Felix. You are a married woman who wants to finalize exactly, the home affairs. Exactly. Mm. Now, he tells me about his, his story you know, and his life and things that he's struggling with. Before we get into yes. that, don't you think it's an error as the body of Christ mm -hmm. that we are doing to rush people to get married just because we don't want to maybe, number one, sleep with yes. that person. Yes. We are trying to cover. Yes. Little do we forget yes. that marriage is not only sex. Yes. There yes. is tempers. Yes. There is traumas. Yes. yes. Let's talk about that. If there's one thing that I, 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 I advise people around me that are born again is to always not rush the process. Do not. Do not rush the process. Mm. Do not rush it actually when you're under pressure. Do, mm. do, not, do not allow pressure to make you rush the process. That's yes, right. That's how I want Even to put it. Even desperation. Even desperation. Because the church does put you under pressure. Let me tell you, when the September date, I'm happy that you raised that up. Mm. The the plan, our plan was the lobola, but we were not in a rush to even stay together. Mm. I think even the lobola was pushed by the this whole church thing because now they yes. know, and I'm in the worship team, and he's... So the lobola thing, actually, the, yes, he wanted to marry me, but the timing of it was pushed by now the church being involved mm -hmm. and knowing about it and being in our affairs now to say, hey, and our parents being in the in the executive committee at church, both from my side and Baholo. his side. Baholo now are into this. Now we have meetings where our, our parents are in the meeting with us to say, no, you, you'll end up going to Halin, this wrong. Trust the me, only thing sex. they are worried about sex. is sex. sex. They, they don't count abuse, abuse that can occur. Traumas, you know, background checks. <laughs> we only know each other. Hallelujah. One day in a week where we say, I know this family giver when we're just all raising our hands and crying in church, and then when it's cut, and we go back to our... And you are uh, marrying Ananias Smart. A ma you know, <laughs> a whole mat. <laughs> a whole mat, you know? You know. And you don't know, because you, when now you see the hallelujah part, now you have to get to know the real person from church, out of church, you know? But someone can argue our case and yeah. say, you can never know a person, you know? Okay, well, Which yeah. is true. Yeah. 
But then I feel like the reason why there's mm -hmm. such a huge percentage mm -hmm. of divorce mm -hmm. in the body of mm -hmm. Christ is this era of people being pushed yes. to cover a matter. Yes. So some are pregnant. Yes. They just want to cover yes. it by getting married. Yes. yes, yes, you're right. You know, um, um, you can never get to know a person, but at least get to know even those a uh, few errors mm. and then be the one who decides I will, handle I will take it. care I will take him a cool get to know everything about okay, mm. it, it, it might not be everything but get to know the good get to know the, the bad and then get to know the family remember there's also when a person comes into your life it's not really only about him there's the family that he comes with and everything mm. get to know all that I'm like, no, 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 if the sister is a problem, if this is a problem, I will deal with Give that. Give me a chance to, to agree to, to what to I'm getting To agree to what I'm getting myself into. That's all we're saying. All. We will never get to really know a person. Mm. And, and, then, a and a mutukwa mudim, you know. But then let me get to know certain things, his weaknesses, you know, what he struggles with. And then if, okay, I know God will help me to handle this. Mm. Or I'm accepting you with that and then trusting God to help me with that. But not it must not come as a surprise. Now That's can right. and then it comes as a surprise. And now I can't even because mm. already mm. Kimusi. They you could know? have mentioned it while you were in the I'm talking stage. Exactly. You know, so I think the pressure I think the church must really come down <laughs> on putting pressure. I totally you know, agree. They really need to we really need to, to work on that as a church because I know I know even from people around me that have rushed into it because of the pressure and the marriages. I'm telling you, just uh, just a month, two week months into it, and they were like, Yo, who is Benya this person? Benya Pimoengwen. Benya Pimkoseham, you know. And it's just and when you look back it's usually the pressures of the church mm. the pressure from church to say nizolala uzopreka and you know and when we are shumaela and when we are kula and when you know nsenkonzweni nzo let's uhlazo you know so now rush into it shatan mosi why in funu jola upholding a certain <laughs> you know, image but certain, denying but the power yes. that comes with being yes. a child of god yes. which is taming the flesh yes. understanding that god yes. can reveal somebody's traumas yes Yes. So I think I think as a church we need God to help us on that Amen. part because we err a lot when it comes to hence the divorce rate as you said is so it's very, it's high. very high, you know, when it comes to Christian Christian Christianity, but then we we need to go back to God and repent. Mm. And That's repent. Right. <laughs> you know, because of all these marriages that that have failed because of such pressure, you know, because I think even with us at some point we at a point where all else failed our parents did come back to us and say we are sorry. We, we apologize. We apologize. That's right. yeah. So I think that's a ch the church really, really needs to look into that because it's mm. a serious problem that we are we are finding ourselves things in that could have been avoided. avoided marriages that were never even supposed to, to happen. happen just because somebody's attracted to exactly. the anointing of a exactly. worshiper. That doesn't mean that's exactly. your husband or wife. Exactly. And also the era of marrying an anointing. Exactly. Yeah, you are doing the anointing. anointing. Do 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 you don't. You, that's, that, <sighs> oh, that's where we miss it. Because <laughs> after Kibina, we don't have to go to the church. When the and, uh, rent is due, we don't sing. And remember, we are vessels. Amen. You know? I, get, I, I get there. I avail myself as a vessel, as a vessel, mm. and he does the rest. That's right. And then when I move from that, you know, Lebohang now comes in character. You know, you know, weaknesses, all those things. Now you have to deal with the mm. real Lebohang. I want to make, 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 you know. So those are the things that we really need to look into. Sure. Now yeah. let's go back uh, yeah. to uh, all the preps. Yeah, Mr. So, Cigar. Yeah, and then he came <laughs> back, and then now I got to know certain things that I would not mention. Correct. That were now, I was like, you. You know, mm. then, okay, that happened. I was like, okay, it's fine. It's okay. I'll, I'll just carry You're on. You're still willing to I'm overlook. I'm still willing to overlook, even though now I was seeing, oh, there's a lot of things that I, I, I don't know. I was realizing now, oh, okay, there's so much that I don't know about this person. So wasn't there an option to go back to cancel the wedding? Are you Were you ashamed? I didn't, at that point, I was. Remember, this is a woman that's, that's dealt with disappointment so yeah. many times. I was trying to fight, oh, not this time, not this time. It's not happening again. Ish. And this one is going to be so, oh, this one is going to be I won't be a laughing stock. Exactly. Mm. I won't be a laughing stock. This one is going to be big. This is going to be news. This is, so I'm not going to be a laughing stock. Go trend. Go trend. You, know what? <laughs> you know, my neighbors, you know, I'm like, no, mm. you know, but. Um, our, our, our pastor, you know, being a man of God, he was praying for us. 
And actually, Lena, you know, he, he told us, and then when he, actually, this is how it happened when he told us, he was praying for us and his spirit was unsettled. Mm. He called the marriage counselor to say, how is it going with my, my, my kids? Mm. And he was like, no. Sure. And then he mentioned for oh, this, 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 that. And then our pastor called us and then he said, uh, there's issues, there's this, there's that. And you know that day, I think that I needed that to like to be like, you know, and because mm. this is now our father, I can't I can't tell my parents they are excited, they are preparing, you know. Yeah. And now this was a chance for us to actually just open up because mm. now Lynn now is now seeing things that were making me now unsettled, Ish. you know, and are starting to be something else. Even with the relationship now, we were fighting almost every day, mm. almost every day we were fighting. Mm. We were fight it was bad, you know. We were fighting almost every day. Now the pastor calls us, we go there and we're like, no, it's bad. Mfundi says it's bad. Mm. We fight, we, it's like we, we don't, it's like, we rat, rat inana. you know, when, when he comes, sometimes when he says, I'm here and I'm like, Shh. yeah, <laughs> you know, no. so. Our, and that's before your that's wedding. That's before our wedding. Celebration, Celebration without preparing without... for the actual marriage. Oh my gosh. What an error. Oh my gosh, what an mm. error. Now looking at it, we went to see our pastor. We sat down with him. It was like, no, yeah, good, no. It's it's not happening. It's not it's not working. We are having challenges. He said, "Is it possible, guys, for you to to postpone the wedding? Can we postpone the wedding? Because Wamina, I respect that that man of God for for doing that. Because some men of God, they would still want to go ahead with it. Yeah, reputation, and reputation, you know? and all that. To say, ah, yes, Ashati, sir, you know, mm. it's happening. No, you know what? But for him to take time to actually pray for us, that's a to follow up. That's a father to follow up and call us to say, this is what he said." I'm not it's I'm not gonna officiate the wedding when I know it, it's not it's well. not you know he said I, I, I would not I, I don't want to go back to God you know and because I know your which, blood is in his hands yes he said it's not God it's not happening for now let's postpone and then keep praying about it but it's your decision you know, so when he said, it's your decision, what do you guys uh, think, what what you want to do? I said, Mfundis, Mtela go show Because one thing about 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 my, my, my then husband, because mm. well, he was very reserved. You know, but what about Tuzing Bali? You want to have a lot. Yeah, 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 He was so na. Naki, Naki. Mm. So and, and most people would say problem or oh, oh. it's it's always I, I, the it's case. It's always the case. There's like I have a really problem because oh it's too late, too mm. sweet. People don't even know. Ish. So he was very reserved. So when our pastor asked me, Hori, let's have young, you know, I was like, Can I not be the one that says tomorrow but now now is the problem? And mm. now I cancel. Yes, to marry yes, you marry and now you wanna cancel. Can he be the one that tells us what he wants us to do? Sure. And he was like with attitude. Yeah, let's postpone. Okay. That quiet guy is like, no, no, let's let's postpone. Mm. You know? Manju, we have it. Yeah, we have it. Let's, even the body language is like good. Mm. Yeah, guys like, can he be the one that tells me, that tells us what to do from here? I was like, yeah, no, let's postpone. Yeah, let's postpone. Mm. I was like, and then So do you think him saying that had a lot to do with you guys fighting or it had a lot to do with the overall your pastors seeing that you guys are not compatible at that point it was actually the fighting because oh, even when we went there we were not okay <laughs> even when we went for the meeting we were actually not in good terms you know so that happened we decided to postpone and i think from that meeting it hit us both of us now this this is this is not, this it. Is not it and now with everything that is prepared what are we going to do venues so, are paid I'm telling you. So when we went out there, we had to be bigger people. We said, like, we, we said, okay, let's go to a park and just talk. We went to the car, we went to a park, and we said, now we were calm. Like, okay, well, what do we do? You know, like, no, we're seeing that we have problems. Where was the love at that time? Because I, I believe with all my heart, you guys loved we, one another. We did. Mm. We did. Um, we did. Uh, I think, I don't know, you know, around that time, I think we were just so frustrated. I think the pressure... I think even the it's pressure, the pressure was too much. I don't want to lie to you. I think we broke. We we we're just at breaking point because remember, I mean, the wedding was not supposed to be in September. That was not mm. our plan. That we had to squeeze everything else in. You know, the pressure part also killed us. It it it, it played a role. You know, because now we there was a meeting to say no. Because 
as funny vele say vele ngati, you know. Mm. So now, and this is money and everything else and things that we didn't plan for, and 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 you know, like no, we're just gonna do something quick. You, you know? know, there's this part that you're mentioning that I like, mm -hmm. the money part. The money part. You know, with all this pressure comes the loan. You know, exactly. People are forced to take exactly. loans, exactly, to cover to, to have exactly. white weddings. It's so unhealthy. It is so unhealthy. And come to think of it now, I'm. I, I thank God for this interview. Why is someone about Amen. to? Oh, I, I, I really thank God for this interview because now <laughs> I'm also learning something about that experience, that money, because most of the things the guy was covering, and you know, finances. So, one about was under actually it's a lot. It was a lot. Was paid. was paid cash. Now what am I? Now, now it's the way the, the wedding venue he paid for it cash. Like find the finance part of it he was covering. Now I'm supposed to take a wife and now give I'm her a home. A home. And he, there was a meeting that was called for him again, but by some other elder at church. They told him that the job that you are doing, now you have to go look for something else that is better because you're going to have a family. So now come to think, and I'm saying, I, I thank God for this interview because Amen. now, you know, because remember, we, we we are against victim mentality. You're trying to also see analyze. what the uh, exact and analyze. So now he was also under so much pressure, pressure, you know, hence he was, because he was very short tempered, like, you know, everything was just a fight because of things that finances, and when you say finances, there was no communication with finances. Mm. So he was not, there was no point where there was a transparency to say, okay, but he sends a white like wedding, this. but this is where I am. Sure. It was nothing like that. So, but now let me pinpoint you a mm -hmm. little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look at my journey with my husband. Mm -hmm. I literally sat down with him mm -hmm. and I went back to my family and said, mm -hmm. my husband is this mm -hmm. and this. Don't you feel like you were supposed to do that as a woman of God, number one? Yeah. And also, let's take it back to the pressure of uh -huh. putting our brothers in the Lord mm -hmm. to afford a Lamborghini when yeah. we ourselves do, do not, not even own yeah. a bicycle. Yeah, you know. You know, I think I would I, I would say that's an error from my side. But I think the comfort um, came from when we had meeting with both our parents. So mm. when we had those meetings, he comes from a very well off family, okay. very very well off family. Mm. So his family suggested that we do. The white wedding, white wedding and everything and everything. Mm. So now this is a meeting, remember? In my mind, oh, this family discussed this. So since they called us for a meeting, it's something that they've already discussed. Mm. They came to us to say, let's do it like this. So that means financially, buyers would say, no, this is going to be sorted. You know, because at that time I was not working. Okay. They were very much aware that I was not working, mm. you know. So um, now they are bringing up all these options to say, no, let's do it like this. The, even the venue was chosen. They were the sure. ones who were suggesting the venues and everything, the parents from my, my, my husband's side at the time. So, you know, those kind of things. I was thinking at that point, I was like, oh, okay. This is a blessing again. This mm, is a blessing. This, this family is, is so. God. This is God. This family is so supportive. They want to cover, you know, they're covering mm. this, they're covering that. So some of the things that he would pay for, I was thinking, no, it's probably... Probably from the father, from the mother, because they're suggesting we do this, we do that. Even the catering part of it, they were the ones who were suggesting, well, oh, this is how we should do it. This is what, because I thought, okay, no, they got it covered mm. since they came to us. But I erred because even though that was the thought, I was supposed to converse and come back to him to say, okay, so where do we stand? But the excitement yeah the excitement oh, this is finally happening and have my celebration you know yeah that's where i was the excitement sure. of the wedding and i don't blame you i don't think you're the only one who goes through that mm -hmm. and now that you are looking back mm -hmm. let's talk to that sister at home yeah. who's also so excited yeah about planning for a yeah. wedding but yeah. not planning for, for a marriage. marriage you know yes what can you say to them who i would say you know based on my experience the first thing that i would say is inquire from the lord Amen. because from my experience that's where i missed it always inquire from the lord and don't miss all the red flags. Mm. Always make sure that you adhere to the red flags. And again, you know our feelings, they can they can really mislead us. Yeah. 
you know. Namsanje ya shisa. Namsanje ya wana kisasa, it's that, you know. So I would say don't go according to what you feel, mm. you know, just always trust what God knows about you, what God knows about the situation, what God knows about the other person because we don't know the other person. Mm. So God is the most reliable source. That's right. You know, so always go to him and even when even when he says it is not it, I think this is where we miss it, where we worry about Abantu, where we worry about Tukutubanu Zotini, you know, mm. who's going to look here, rather disappoint people, you know, rather people be disappointed. That's but right. But knowing good to when you're on the right path, mm. you know, than having to look at what happened in my life, all the losses, all uh, my bridesmaid had, had to lose, Ish. the groomsmen had to lose, the venue, the, the money was forfeited. My dress forfeited because it's know? still wherever, you know. So all that, the time wasted, the money wasted, mm, you know. And emotional well-being. Emotional well-being, well you know. And now to, the, to pick up the pieces, I'm telling you, sure. even this day, that experience, in a way, it still, like, affects my recent relationships because you mm. when a person says I'm like, it's a trigger it's a trigger now and you only need to find out this boy is a the, real this one this is the real one when mm. a person says I'm like, it's a trigger you know had i waited yeah. had i listened sure had i you know never succumbed to pressure mm. you know there are things that are hence we it goes back to what we say the doors that we also open you know that contribute to certain things that we go through sure. these are the doors that i I actually opened, mm. you know, so that's, that's that. So don't succumb to pressure, you know, trust God, trust the process, you know, and always, um, as I say, always inquire from the Lord and God is the most reliable source. So Amen. that's, that's what I would say. Yeah. Sure. So as we are concluding our yes. conversation, there are so many lessons yeah. here. Do comment down below on what is standing out for you in this conversation. And do not forget that we are fully sponsored by the Scent Studios. So you can come and do your own podcast with them. Please do follow them on all their social media platforms. So this level coming to the end. Yes. What was your healing process like? You know, seeing that, you know what, this thing that I saw as a blessing yeah. is now really not that that of a blessing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take us through that. So um, it started, it's funny, it started on the on my, the day that was supposed to be my wedding day. Mm. Um, remember now, I couldn't go around telling everyone that the wedding is cancelled. So all. people, some people knew that it's on even uh, my neighbours. So on the day, my, my wedding was supposed to be at some venue somewhere. So on the day of the wedding, there was some <laughs> Aboma Kelwani who was oh. singing outside Ekai. So we had locked the gates. So they thought, no, there's no one the post that we went to the venue. Mm. So it was on the day of my wedding, I was sitting on top of my bed and I could hear people singing outside wedding songs. <gasps> And I'm sitting on my bed, and they're thinking, but you know, I see because we locked. It's a good venue. So some people, but they had to go to the venue, and there's nothing happening. They were confused. Aye, man, that's I'm telling traumatizing. You, I'm telling you. So now, on the day of my wedding, when people were singing outside, and I could hear them, I was sitting on top of my bed. I remember, and I was singing that song, the song that says, "Oh Lord." Through it all, through it all, Ish, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to depend upon his word. Sure. And I was there, people are saying, oh, hey, it's happening outside. And I was on top of my bed. I was like, Lord, through it all, I choose to trust you. Mm -hmm. So it was on the day of my wedding where, oh, Lord, where I had to go Ooh. back, <laughs> mm -hmm. where I, I knew that it, it, it's God or nothing. If it wasn't for God, had I, know, I, know, had I not known God, mm -hmm. I was going to die of a heart attack. I'm telling you. Salvation saved Salvation saved, saved me. So my healing process, I had to go back to God to mend my broken heart. Mm -hmm. I went back to him. I told him how I felt. I told him how broken I was. I told him how painful it was. I told him how weak I was. I told him how, you know, how, how I don't have power. I don't have strength. I don't have, and I need him to heal me. Mm -hmm. I gave him my heart. And the condition of my heart. And I was like, Lord, heal me. Mm. And when I did that, I felt God's, God's arms surrounding me. Wrapping, you wrapping up. me up. Mm. That's how my healing started. Right on the day where it was supposed to be my wedding. On top of my bed. Singing through it, through it all while people were singing wedding songs outside. And I, want, I, I ran, I ran, I ran to God. 
you know, and he held me and he told mm. me, it's going to be okay. There's a purpose in this pain. Yeah. It doesn't make sense now. You don't understand the what is happening, but the why is happening will make sense. And I sit here today, I understand the why. Mm. The what was very painful. What I was going through was very painful. I didn't understand it. Yeah. But the why, that's where purpose comes in mm. to say, this is why I had to go through this. And today I thank God for my pain. Amen. Yeah. So today you can even look at a young lady out there who's going through the same yes. thing and say, Kuyadulega. You can Kuyadulega. go through this and come out, and a, come champion. out a champion. Amen. And, and God uses that to launch us into purpose. I've seen that. We've seen it with Christ. Amen. Queen Rami. It is pain. If it <laughs> was know, up to him, the cup, the cup was supposed to pass. There is a chapter oh. in my book. It's my favorite. The chapter that says, uh, 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 wishing the cup of suffering away. Mm. All of us, we don't want the suffering. Come on. Christ himself got to a point where he said, no, 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 no. no. So. You know, but then when he understood the purpose behind the pain, he quickly aligned himself and said, Lord, not, not my, my will, will, but let your will be done. Because Amen. he understood the purpose behind the pain. So even Christ himself, it is pain that launched him to purpose. He had to go through the pain. Yes, the cross, yes, we are here, but it was pain that launched him to purpose. Sure. So we as well, this is what I would, I would also tell people, no matter what you go through, no matter how painful it is, no matter how unfixable you think it is, Look up to God. There is always a greater plan. Don't look at the what is happening. Mm. Always look at the why. Because the why is what will make sense. The why is what will open your eyes. The why is what will launch you to your purpose. So there's always purpose to your pain. There's always purpose to what we go through. There is no pain that is wasted. There is no challenge that is wasted. God has a plan for you. Amen. Amen. Wow. Yeah. You know, when they say some things that people survive might kill some of yeah. us. So I thank you for sharing this story with us. Yeah. I thank you for opening our eyes that yeah. indeed God restores. He does. You know, you don't look like anything that you've been no. through. <laughs> no. <laughs> so when, are, are you looking? Are you single? Are you available? <laughs> Fire. I'm somewhere there. <laughs> Along the I'm way. I'm somewhere there, you know, loving God, God loving me, God restoring Amen. me in every area of my life. Amen. You know, um, <laughs> I don't think I'm available, but then God is restoring every part of my life. Amen. He is restoring it. You know, now I understand when God says at the right time, he makes I... all things beautiful. Mm -hmm. We will not, we cannot rush it. We cannot fast forward it, mm -mm. <laughs> you know. We just allow God to take us through and at the right time because he is a man of his word. Amen. This guy doesn't lie. This guy doesn't make false promises mm. at the right time. So I think as Christians, as children of God, the only thing that we need to do as Rami, especially in this walk of Christ, is, mm. is just to trust God. Amen. Because some things will always come as a surprise. Mm. We don't know everything. He knows what he has planned for us. So we need to trust his plan Lean for us. Lean on him. Lean on him. Mm. Hold on. Trust him. More than anything, trust sure. him. Trust Amen. his plan for us. Because he is faithful, you know, to fulfill his promise. And he, he will. And at the right time. At the right time, he will do it for you. He will Amen. restore. He will give you that job. He will give you that man. He will give you that, you know, at the right time and after seeking first the kingdom, the kingdom of, of god, god then he adds so sometimes and opening the doors sometimes we seek for the things and, and then we run to him after mm. <laughs> you know that's how we also open again doors to certain delays in our lives because we're not doing it as per manual the mm. manual tells us the manual is, is straight god of principle He's a god of principle the manual is straightforward seek you first his kingdom and all else will be added, but we're going for the all else and then want to run to him when all else all else fails. But then if we can keep to the manual, seek him first and believe that he will add at the appointed time. Amen. Then we will live a peaceful, peaceful life. Sure. So to someone out there at home who wants to connect with you on social yes. media, where can they find you? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm such, no, I'm not a social person as such, but Facebook would be 
I think that's where I'm most active. Amen. So my Facebook handle is Lebohang Mutsipe. Um, I can share my number. This this is the number that I can share for the book. You, you know, can. for you know, if you want to invite me, it's mm. 068-093-9795. That is the number that I use. If you want, someone wants to invite me, someone wants to share something with me, someone wants advice, um, or the book, they can find me there. Thank you so much. You we are, are proud of you. Thank you so Continue much. Continue to push the mandate. I will do it is so. all for Christ, yes. for his glory, yes. for his kingdom. Yes. We appreciate and Thank love you, you so much. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> and if you have watched us until this far, thank you so much. Yes. We will see you in our next episode. From my guest and myself, it is bye for now. Bye.